This is South Africa. The emotion from South Africa, tears of joy. We're a country with a deep and lasting love for sports. All sports. Sport is probably the most powerful lever that we've got in this country at this point in time. We've been on top of the world and conquered it. What an incredible test match we have witnessed. Again and again. We've set records. broken down barriers and, the nation of South Africa will be rejoicing now. and heard our names chanted around the world. And all of that success is rooted in our schools. It is the foundation upon which our greatness is built. Filled with its rich traditions. Big heart. And lots and lots of talent. We've got so much talent in South Africa. Development started at schools and we all know that. It is the heartbeat of our great sporting nation. And now, as we come off a year like no other, one filled with emptiness and missed opportunities, it is now that we must look to retake the field. Indeed, Mzanzi, we all know our ability at creating quality and gifted athletes, but we also know how much better we could do by leveling the playing field. But all that changes today. Dumelan Kohai, and welcome to a new chapter in the South African sporting story. A chapter where those who have and those who do not have get to play an equal role in our unfolding sporting story. A chapter written by its stars, regardless of where they come from. Grade <laughs> I've worked with Tondo Lutu for about a year now. He's a very talented kid. He can bat very nicely, he bowls very nicely. You know, one of the leaders in school and in the hub. He's a good gentleman, good ambassador of the game. I was in the trials, I was in the trials. I was in the trials, I was in the trials. I was in the trials, I was in the trials. I was in the trials, I was in the trials. I was in the trials, and I was in the trials, I was in the trials. And cricket. So you do find uh, that we lose a lot of talented sportsmen and women. You find that kids from here are very skilled. This is in Nicole, who now must scout some money in the election. The election, you want show fifty, show hundred, Yafana, a record of born, the mustards are a record of born. And Jonga Peck, I think, is selected as Slobogs and Zongal, Sandibas as Bugella, more of his goal. 
scholars the platform. most tournaments. I think by means of a new seven or born or could be talented, I call a car, Elisha Gokuma born. So, what do we need to do to make sure that the next look on your arm does not slip through the cracks? Like every good story, let's start at the beginning. The foundation of sport in any nation is very crucial. Sport brings about values that molds a young person. Whether it's physical training, emotional, as well as social stability for any learner. So it is important that a nation focuses on developing sport in the early ages. I think some of the biggest challenges that we face in South Africa are funding and also access to resources as well. So we need an investment in school sport. I think South Africa as a nation, we're blessed with heaps of talent. There's so many scenarios and examples of where children dream to be sports stars or children dream to be something else. So now the question is, how do we create systems and structures that can better support that talent to make sure that it comes through the systems? And I think the key thing here is giving access for those kids to be discovered. At Supersport, we take a lot of pride in being able to lay claim to being the biggest funder and investor in, in both South African and African sport. And that is, traditionally always been within the professional game at, at both a senior men's and women's level. Of course, your world of champions, super sport. It's the second one day international South Africa against the West Indies. The world record now belongs to A.B. de Villiers. The opportunity around investing in school sport came about and, and we see it as a, as a huge platform for us to be better integrated and better engaged with the youth market. So how do we engage? How can we give school sports the support it needs? We make sure to shine the light in every corner, from Cape Town to Clarence, Soweto to Stellenbosch, so we can be seen, so we can grow the sports we love so much. And who better to do it than Africa's number one sports broadcaster than your world of champions? Super Sports. Introducing Super Sports Schools, a new brand part of the Super Sport family. And they're on a mission to broadcast as many sports from as many schools as possible. Our school sport investment has centered around an acquisition of a business called School Sports Live. And School Sports Live at its heart is a production business that has been built around showcasing the best school sport around South Africa. School Sport Live started out of passion for school sport. We've met incredible people, we've made connections at schools, and every time we go into that OB to do a live game, we're as excited as the people that are on the field playing that sport. Never in our wildest dreams did we think that we'd be in this situation where we would partner with Super Sport. Quite exciting, considering they're the largest broadcast on the continent. We're very excited about the journey that we're going to be embarking on, and I think there are some big things to come. That's beautiful, Flex. I love that. It's nice, close up. That is gorgeous. Partnerships like these will bring increased exposure for schools, increasing opportunity for young athletes. But South Africa is a big place, and not every sports game can be covered. In many communities, even getting to a game is a challenge. I don't come from a very wealthy community in King Williamstown. There's a lot of our parents that would love to be here. They can't physically be here because they're working jobs to be able to send us like to school. 
if I had been in a different province, you would have been in a setup where it wouldn't have been a drag to get to training. You wouldn't have to go home late and that sort of thing. I used to play semi-pro rugby. Um, I think my mother's only watched one game, one live game. So I think in that example alone, it just shows you some of the challenges that you go through um, in playing sports in South Africa. Bringing school sport to TV is one thing. What about those learners off the beaten track? Those who have to wake up earlier, travel further, and work even harder to achieve the same? Well, Super Sports Schools has a plan for that too, and its simplicity will blow your mind. We install fixed high-definition cameras at a field at a school. These cameras use AI technology um, and multi-lenses to follow the action and, and, and provide the full 180-degree coverage on the field. As soon as the content is captured, the content is streamed live to our soon-to-be-ready app, um, allow the viewers to watch the people that they love. We're offering parents and grannies and uncles and cousins and that the opportunity to see their, their son or their cousin who's playing for the 15 Cs or the under 13 Ds. I think what an app would do on which like people can actually watch and support school sport, it'll also give us some form of motivation like to know that you know our parents are still watching so we have to give our all regardless of whether they are physically or if they're just watching over an app. <laughs> And it's a good marketing tool for us to be able to market them and get them into better schools. We want to try and show as many of these talented boys and girls from around the country. This will allow us to be on the ground in some of the most remote parts of the country, ensuring that we can deliver a world-class product in those remote areas. What we will do, I think, over time is that we're going to identify and try and get cameras into as many different schools as possible from around the country. We are grateful to have a partner like Nashua, um, who have come on board as our enablement partner and also as a sponsor. Nashua is a perfect fit for the Super Sports Schools project. Due to our experience within technology, this will ensure that every single kid out there gets the same opportunity going forward. In essence, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be helping us to basically maintain, install, and roll out the entire Super Sports Schools project into schools. When we first got to hear about the Super Sports Schools project, we got really excited. We've got a strong history and legacy within the sports arena, and we've got the capability. And I believe that's what made us the ideal partner for this project. As much as it's an initiative that Supersport is driving, we need to collaborate and we need Corporate South Africa to also partner with us on this project. With partners like Nashua on board, Supersport Schools is on course to becoming a game changer in sports across the country. And part of that means readdressing the imbalances of the past and making sure we shine the light on all our talent. That means coverage, not just for the boys or the elite, not just for the rugby players, but across all sporting codes and all genders. Our mandate is to increase the profiling of all sports, not just rugby. I mean, we want to make sure that netball gets exposure, hockey, athletics, cricket and water polo. And in everything that we do, it's very, very important that we are inclusive to make sure that the product that we offer speaks to both male and female, to make sure that we give females equal profiling and equal exposure. I'm proud to say that this is something that we are going to be intentional in driving. Uh, for me, growing up, sports was never a thing for a female or a girl. Uh, it was more for males, if I can put it like that. And I think television, media plays a huge role in ensuring that young athletes get to see their role models. They get to identify them and know who they want to be like at a later stage.
With more attention, more coverage, and more media devoted to shining the light on our next generation of superstars, we can all be sure of our sporting future. But don't take our word for it. Some of South Africa's greatest sporting names are also getting behind this. Sometimes when I come home, I wonder what I would say to my younger self. Maybe I would say, Unganayonga yona kid in Tlehokanya Patle. Our young was called Wessy Cool. Duckborn, Indonesia, Miss LA. Can you mean I think this program uh, is going to benefit the country um, because it's going to give opportunity for, for the kids. I'm grateful to be one of the super sports uh, school's ambassadors, probably to change the perception of uh, females being overlooked in terms of if we specifically talk about coverage. It will also give kids you know, opportunity and a great future that, that they can fulfill. The more you can get coverage, I guess the more sponsors or the business partners want to come on board. And that type of support can also help into the grassroots level where the development specifically starts. For both Bongiwe and Lukanyo, the greatest part about being ambassadors means playing their part in creating hope for the next generation. This is where it all started for me, in Hammersdale, a village just outside Devon. Grew up in a very traditional family. A few times in a while we have to go, you know, and do up the garden in the morning. I wouldn't think much of sports. I happened to play netball by chance. I went to go and watch my neighborhood friends at training, sitting on the side, just watching and supporting. There were 13 of them on the netball courts. They needed one player to fill in. I can remember one of them saying to the coach, ask her to fill in. From there, I had to borrow the shoes. The shoes were even bigger than my feet. I think I can remember that I wasn't even worried about the size of the shoes, but more of what I was gonna do on courts. Pulled through that day. From there, it rolled on to being called to a national side. Zomi gets it into the shooter's hands. Having to play overseas, I think all that journey actually created all of that. Now that I look forward into the future, I want to see more girls playing the sports. We need to find a way where we give them exposure. There's exciting stuff coming along. I think it's going to create a whole lot more vibe, and I have to be part of that. Because believe me, one day, the shoes will fit and the lights will find you. Arguably one of the, the most deadly players on court right now. I think if there's one thing that I would like everyone to take away from the messaging of what we're trying to deliver and land with super sports schools, is that we are here to build a strong foundation for the South African sporting nation. There are thousands of other Lukanya Ams or Sia Khaleesi's out there, and we want to play a very significant role in, in unearthing their talent. Greatness does not begin by lifting the trophy. Greatness begins at ground level. We've got the ability to enable every single school throughout the country. This partnership with Supersport is going to expose uh, the youngsters and create an opportunity for the support base. It will bring about social cohesion and really give them an opportunity to participate on the basis of their talent, not where they come from. 
strong foundations build great sporting nations. And we've seen exactly what that means. How would the right investment, the right technology, and the right partners, combined with our passion and dedication as sports fans, we can transform from good to great. By shining the light on all our talents across South Africa, there's no telling what heights we can achieve. If sport is the blood that flows through the veins of each and every one of us, then school sports is our heartbeat. Every child across the country, no matter the sport, no matter their gender or school, will now have the chance to be seen, to shine. This is the start of the South African sports story to the young legends of the Rainbow Nation. It's your time to shine. Now go and write your name big enough for the whole world to see.